Hi, I'm Bran, and I love and am saddened that this is the last yeah. one. Yeah. Christmas preview Hallmark episode. Yeah. I'm Brian. Dun, 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 Let's get it going. Dun, dun, Did not dun, dun, catch dun, what you mumbled, but I like Christmas preview episodes. Hi, I'm Dan. We're here. We made it to the kickoff. Just kidding. It's our third preview episode, and I hate them. Yeah. This is the Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark podcast. podcast. Yeah. Deck the Hallmark. It's his podcast. host this podcast we hope you like this jolly podcast hello everybody you know what i think i think the preview episodes are to blame for why i'm actually excited for the season to start and it's not because i'm so excited for the season to start i know that we're done Hmm. with a month of preview episodes Hmm. well you know what here's where you're wrong on that one uh, because we're about we're to gear done. up. We're about to gear up for some uh, lifetime preview episodes. Some so n- <laughs> spoke too soon. One of those, right? I think it's, I think there's going to be two. Come on, man! And Netflix probably won't do a preview of those, will you? Uh, I don't know actually oh, about that. Oh, uh, bummer. <laughs> We could uh, guys, <laughs> we don't we don't want to waste any time. Okay, uh, anybody Let's who knows me, right in. The anybody clock. who knows me knows that I don't waste time. You don't mess around with especially the, at the yeah. especially at the top of the episode. That's Very right. Strange. We always get straight to it. A tale. We are currently um, to the to Saturday of Thanksgiving week. We got seventeen to do. <laughs> we are allotting four or five creams. Mm. This is a point of discussion, and I know the top of the hour, the whole thing. Four or five creams, Brain. Five creams. Five creams. Five creams. You're generous with your creams. I'm not Always generous. Always has been. Guys, we've been doing, uh, no, four, we're fine. One to four. It's a one to four it's ratio. It's a one to four ratio. So that 17th movie, you get a, fr- a cream. It's a free cream. cream. Free cream. Come a Tale of it. Two Christmases, 6 p.m. Saturday, November 26th on the Hallmark Channel. It is starring Cat Barrel. Cat barrel. Cat barrel. Did you just say two words? It is a cat. Did you spin the two word wheel. It's a cat. It's starring tree window. <laughs> it's a cat barrel. Chandler Massey and Evan Roderick. Starring tire plastic. <laughs> Thanks to some Christmas magic. Cat barrel. Take my cream. <laughs> say no more. You, know, all you, you, need, you heard all you needed to hear. You thought cat and barrel were the magic oh words. Oh my gosh. Cat, cat, and barrel. cat and barrel the other day. Not as good as Crate and Barrel. <laughs> yeah. The quality of Cat and Barrel. Ugh. Dan, Get this is a get. real human with a real name. Cat Barrel. Mm, sound isn't working in the chat. Brand. It doesn't F-R. matter. It's still fine. <laughs> thanks to some Christmas <laughs> magic. Uh, thanks to some Christmas magic, Emma gets to experience two different Christmases. Mm. Oh, my gosh. One... Where she stays in the city. Oh, oh, oh boy! She's gonna go back somewhere and <laughs> celebrates time? with a new crush and her fr- and his friends. And one where she returns home for all the traditions with her family. Mm. And Drew, a long f- time friend you got who a may have friend. feelings for her. Emma's double holiday couldn't call it double holiday. No, no, no. no. The whole thing. Yeah. Ultimately, helps her discover. What will truly make her happy in life as well as in love? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dude, oh, and, boy. And, uh, that premise and we get Cat Barrel. Yeah, I got to be honest with you guys. This might be the premise that I'm most excited about oh, so far. Oh, so far. Gosh, man. Like Are three, three guys in a baby shirt. It sounds yeah, fun, but a lot of, of that is... The, there is one ghost of Christmas present yeah, out yeah. there doing good work. That's fine. The I don't hate that either, but this I'm just saying. Like we've done this before. Christmas magic, you get two Christmases, one in the big yep. city with all of her uppity up friends yep. and their cocktails that they're what spending twenty dollars on. The big city, it's new homework. That's new. fine. Okay, well, you were making it sound like it was a no go. There's nothing wrong with uppity friends, and I love a good twenty dollar cocktail. You love, yeah, <laughs> as long yeah, as it's you're sweet. big on uppity. And you're uh, my uppity friend. I thank you. I know. I'm bougie. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I love, I love when we go back yeah, to the I'll town. Go back. Oh! I can't. Five. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, that's five. a good question. Uh, five snowmen. Oh, we have to do that for five snow. I'm sorry. Five, five snowmen. Five snowmen. Five snowmen. Five snowmen and a cream. And you can definitely cut a snowman in half long ways. I know you can. Right uh, is it? It's middle. not a snowman anymore. Though. Yeah, it's not. That's a. What are you doing here? Oh, I thought you were gonna cut, draw it out. Uh, five, five snowmen and a cream. It's on your. <laughs> 
This is we got a we're in a, a mini marathon. I got to take some notes to keep track. Five of where snowmen we're at. and a cream. For and you. A cream? Five snowmen and a cream. And it's Snow not even, cream. Wow. It's not even that close. Snow Man, cat barrel brings out the cream. Absolutely. I don't, I'm not a big cat in general fan, but cats in barrels. Oh, big on. And I'm wondering what happens that they she stay there. that I'm, she gets the two. Like, does she get knocked out and get to re and re? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Well, so, this is Christmas magic. Obviously, okay. So Both I'm at the same time. You know what this kind of sound? Back? This sounds a little bit like is. Mm -hmm. um, Next stop, Christmas. Mm -hmm. It does. Because it's magic. Yeah, you got to get things. to see things. Yeah. But this is two distinct Christmases. I don't know if she's going back. I don't know if she's going back and forth. I don't think she goes back. I'm hoping they're two separate ones and she gets to choose at the end. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So magic. Uh, yeah, four snowmen, a cream. I'm almost all in on this one. Almost all what in. What can yeah. I do to get you over? Oh, to get me up there? Yeah. Oh, boy. Tell me an icicle falls on her head. Icicle falls on her head. <laughs> Five <laughs> snowmen and a cream. You guys are both Woo! just throwing creams out right out of the gate. Cat! Freaking barrel! You we know have what? almost unlimited creams, Dan. Five? The, the five, it's basically one do. movie. That's right. They mean nothing. <laughs> they, they, we False. relegated them to uh, it. Let me guess. <laughs> You're going to do uh, one, one snowman. Can I tell you, after hearing your hype? Uh, Zero. Oh, oh my God. Zero. But it's, a snowman is basically a zero. So a snowman. It's, it's zero snowman. Oh this God. sounds like it's going to be awful. It doesn't sound like fun Christmas magic. There's no tra time traveling. This is like a dream of Christmas is all this is. This is like when Nikki Dolich dreams of a different life and gets to choose one or the other somehow. I, I, it doesn't do anything for me. I'm sorry, Cat Barrel. I know that we're good friends. I'm sorry. Dude, go, go step in a... Of Just snowman. step in a puddle. Mm, you tell you tell them, guys. Uh, haul out the Holly. Uh, I bet her name's gonna be Holly. Gone. Bet her name's gonna be Holly. You, think you don't so? think it'll be Hall? You don't think it'll be Hall? <laughs> hey, I'm Hall. <laughs> I'm Hall. Um, they would never let Lacey Chabert play someone named Hall. That's an <laughs> absolute fact. Uh, 8 p.m. Saturday, November 26th, is starring Lacey, Lacey Chabert. Lacey Chabert's a truck driver. <laughs> <named Hall. laughs> uh, La Lacey Chabert, Wes Brown, uh, Ellen Travolta, Peter Jacobson, Melissa Peterman, mm -hmm. St uh, Stephen uh, Tobolowski. St Stephen Tobolowski is a character actor who's a national treasure. He's in Groundhog Day. Really? Great. Great. He's phenomenal. I love when you get excited, Dan. Steve, I'm serious. The fact that you don't know who Steven Toblowski is, I mean, that's a big deal. I don't know who mo a lot of people that's are. That's true. Um, Emily arrives home. By If you missed it, uh, Lacey Chabert, Wes Brown are the two leads here. Plays uh, a truck driver. Uh, Emily, oh, Emily right. arrives home. Oh, her name's Emily, not Holly. Her, right, uh, I was wrong. Her call sign is Big Hoss. <laughs> uh, Emily arrives home hoping to visit Can her parents. You imagine. <laughs> I just want that scene. I want that oh. scene. We'll never get through, Brand. You'll be fine. Just take a deep breath. Um, Emily, to go. <laughs> Emily arrives home hoping to visit her parents, only to discover that they are leaving on a trip of their own. As she stays at their house for the holidays, their HOA is determined oh to get Emily oh, to participate in the neighborhood's mini Christmas festivities. Mm. Haul at the Holly, Brian. <laughs> All right. Seeing her as a truck driver sounds great. That sounds way better. Big hoss. That would uh, be fun. HOA stuff could be fun. Uh, it could, could be it? infuriating. It could be like if it's the character. The first time the sentence has uh, HOA, HOA could stuff could be fun has ever been uttered. Fictionalized HOA <laughs> could be fun. If they're, like you said, great character actors, that could be funny, but also extremely stressful. I got, I'm probably only just two, two snowmen on this one. She's not a truck driver. I, haven't, I got too psyched out by the truck driver idea. Got too psyched out. Too psyched out. Too psyched out. Um, I don't. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's three snowmen, no cream for me. I think that's pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna give a a, a snowman to Stephen Toblowski. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh -oh. give a half a snowman to the reigning ratings queen of Christmas movies, uh -huh. Lacey Chabert. A snowman and a half for me. Wow. Ooh. For a haul out the holly. Wow, no cream, keeping that one in the old back. Pocket. You you gave a snowman just just for Lacey Chabert for Stephen Toblowski, a oh, half for half. Lacey Chabert. Okay, but you gave something. That's right. Wow, I, she's really come around for me. Ever since Christmas, ever since Sweet Carolina, they've let her like act. And you really you really loved la her movie last year too. That was one of your favorites. I don't even remember it. It was the one where you uh, where uh, oh that movie's yeah. god awful. <laughs> Christmas in Castle Heart, real bad. 
Christmas at Castle Heart. Da 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 da. Christmas at the Castle Heart. Uh, time for him to come Where's home for the movie? Christmas. It's at Castle Heart. It's Christmas at Castle Heart. Mm-hmm. Time for him to come home for Christmas. 10 p.m. Hold off on oh, the no, warm milk, milk because oh, you're going to get a hot Tyler. Yeah, that's exactly right. You don't need your warm milk. You got a Tyler Hines. Uh, Saturday, November 26th, a triple feature on Saturday, November 26th over uh, on the Hallmarks. This one's going to be on the movie in the Mysteries. This is with Holland Roden. Holland Oates? Holland Roden. Tyler. Holland Roden, got it. Tyler Hines. Mm-hmm. Tennille Towns. What about Captain? And this is executive produced by Blake Shelton. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Blake. <laughs> Thank you once again. Another one. Uh, four days before Christmas, Emily... Nope. Elizabeth Athens receives a voicemail from a number she doesn't recognize. On the message, a man she doesn't know makes one final plea to the love of his life Mm -hmm. for a second chance. (laughs) This is the fifth installment of the popular movie franchise based on the Blake Shelter song. Time for me to come home for Christmas. That is all that we have. Wow. A voicemail. It sounds like a country song. Got the voicemail or is early there, what, uh, what is the uh, the song? It's a uh, Lone Star. Am I already there? Isn't that a whole thing with a voicemail? There's a, the voicemail in there. I don't know. Called don't you remember. on the phone. But you know what's interesting about nope. this one just is making it up. He's might be right. He's <laughs> calling <laughs> his the love of his life. How does he not have the right number? How does he mix up that number? Oh, it's This Is Austin. Uh. That's the one. You're right. How does he mix up the number? I don't know. I don't know. I'm intrigued by it though. You are. Um. I, I will say Tyler Hines immediately gets three snubmen for me. Wow. Immediately, right out, out of the gate. gate. Right down the middle for him. Um, and I actually, for the most part, have enjoyed this series. Another snowman for Blake Shelton. Yeah. Four snowmen, <laughs> no cream. You've enjoyed this series. I have. The only one of these that I've really enjoyed was the the mystery one with uh, Bo, uh, what is it, the dude? Bo Jangles, yeah. Not Bo Jangles, no. Uh, um, Bo Keb Jackson. Mo? Is it Keb Mo? Is that his name? Bo Jackson. Not Bo Jackson. Bo knows the, this movie series. Last year's one was Bo the New one Hampshire. where she loses Brandon her Penny, Brandon Penny. And they yeah. drive to South Carolina. Yeah. yeah I didn't do anything. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm just saying I've enjoyed them for the most part. Okay. Last, uh, the first one where they come out of the- uh, With the, bu- the, the tour bus? The band. That one you liked. <laughs> the band comes out of- absurd. The guy's coming out of the cupboards with his uh, violin. Some I'm fascinated scenes. that Tyler Hines is on a 10 p.m. Hallmark Movies and Mysteries movie to end the Thanksgiving week. That intrigue alone with Tyler's presence, one snowman. Hmm. Since you say Tyler gets three minimum, I'm at three to start. Great. Also Thank you like, for following my lead. Yeah, absolutely. It's in law. It's the law. And uh, it's Blake law. Shelton, it's in law. <laughs> it's in law. <laughs> it's an in law part. It's an in law snowman situation. <laughs> and I like Blake Shelton. I like all Blake has done for country music. I grew up listening to a lot of Blake Shelton country music. And so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to go for a snowman on this. And Ty- I mean, I, it is weird that it's so late at night. I'm going to hold off my warm milk for snowmen. Wow. For snowmen. All right. Wow. All right. Last one just of the. Copy and brand. That's every it. time. Copy just paste. whatever brand says, you, you say. <laughs> Last one of Thanksgiving weekend is a cookie. I'm sorry. A Christmas cookie catastrophe. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. boy. The CCC. That's right. Triple Christmas C. cookie catastrophe. Sunday, November 27th on the Hallmark Channel. I'm sorry. There is another one after this for Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> oh. Sorry. 6 p.m. <laughs> 6 p.m. Sunday, November 27th, starring Rachel Boston and the Vixter, Victor Webster. Vixter. Uh, Annie Cooper has big shoes to fill when she takes over as CEO of her late grandmother's small town cookie company. <laughs> right. It is doing her best to help their struggling business get back on track. That task gets more daunting when her grandmother's secret recipe isn't, <laughs> isn't guess, guess lost. What it it's not lost. It's not it lost. It disappears and gets burned in a fire. It's stolen. Stolen. Yeah, that's lost. It's yeah. stolen during the Christmas party. It's stolen during the Christmas party. That's something. Theft. <laughs> theft. Grand theft. As Annie, is, as Annie tries to crack the case and uncover the culprit, she Mystery. works with Sam, the owner of a local bakery. To recreate the recipe in hopes of saving the company and her oh job. Oh my gosh, stop talking. Yeah. As Annie and Sam 
bake batch after batch yep. in oh, pursuit man. of the baking perfect scene one. Baking scene. They begin to learn that their lives go together like like milk and cookie. <laughs> no. <laughs> For this, I'm going to tell you right now, before any of you say a word, <laughs> if this, this gets nary a half a snowman from either one of you. I have my reasons. So help man. me. <laughs> go first so at least you don't copy brand. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I will not be holding off on my warm milk for this one because I will be holding <laughs> my milk for this one. Uh, a baking movie oh. with the Vixter. Uh, got to save the company, they, they grandma's have, thing, the they, whole bit. They are trying to figure out a, sec- a recipe, so we're 100% getting bake, baking. <laughs> Good gosh. Baking what scenes. What are we doing? You're what getting, are we doing right now? We're Just let it go. Baking scenes. We're getting uh, trial and error. There's going to be ingredients everywhere. There's going to be gonna, ingredients oh everywhere. Man, I am creaming this, first of all. I'm going to start there. There's some ingredients and everywhere right drizzle there. Drizzle that all over four snowmen. Wow. Yep. Four snowmen. That is appalling. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, it's embarrassing. Uh, two snowmen for Vixter. <laughs> two for Vixter. One, one snowman for a something being stolen. Minus a snowman <laughs> for the, plot. the rest of the plot. That's right. Oh. So back down to two. Where's Cat Barrel when you need her? Oh, I mean, am I right? I've said it once. I've this said is it a big times. fat honking zero. Oh. This has zero written all over it. I love you, Vixter. It's got zero written all over it. We do love Grandma's the Cookie Company. Mm. Lost recipe. Stop it. Stop baking cookies for the, good. Never good stop. God, Never please stop. no, 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 no. Zero. Oh. Hurts. Uh, last but not no least, no cookies for you when I make some fresh for the marathon. Wow, like we'll see. Last we'll see. but not <laughs> least, yeah, that's what we need during a marathon is more cookies. Yeah, please bake uh, some things for the marathon. We won't have anything to eat, Brian. Hey guys, can you believe the marathons this week? Goodness, goodness what? gracious. This um, last one for the weekend: a holiday mm. spectacular, 8 p.m. Sunday, November 27th, Hallmark Channel. It stars Gina Claire Mason, Derek Kleena, Derek the- Kleena. <laughs> Yep. They're, they're, clean. The cleaner. The cleaner. The cleaner, we call him. <laughs> I'm thinking to the cleaner. <laughs> Eve Plum. Derek cleaner. Hey, everybody. Hey, who's cleaner, cleaner than cleaner. Derek? Huh? That's right. Nobody's cleaner than Derek. <laughs> Eve Plum. Come on. And Margaret, featuring the Radio City Market, Mar- Rockets. <laughs> Radio City Marquettes. Um, in 1958, Maggie is an heiress from Philadelphia. Who puts her high society wedding plans on a hold a you guys in order to sneak up to New York City and make her secret dream come true? Dancing live on stage in the Christmas Spectacular of the Radio City Music Hall. Couple of things to note here. I want to make sure that it was perfectly clear. This movie takes place in 1958 in New York City it's a wolf at boy. the Radio City Music That's Hall. Important. It's also a wolf boy. Can you explain what you mean by that? Julie Sherman Wolf. Thank you. Wrote it. Thank She's you for a explaining. vet. She is a vet. I just was concerned that you just saying it's a wolf boy. It's a wolf boy. Be, <laughs> it's a wolf boy. It's a rapper. Derek Kleena. It's Guys, a it's a wolf boy, everyone. It's a wolf boy. Um, I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about this one. I think it's got a lot of potential. I am going to go. Um, I, 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 I'm going to stick with my, you know what? Since I'm going to have an extra cream, I'm going to cream this one, and I'm going to give it four snowmen. I'm four going to cream snowmen. this because I have an extra cream to spare here. I'm going to use my extra cream on a holiday spectacular. I think this one's going to be really good. Four snowmen for me. Bry? Great. Uh, holding my cream. <laughs> Definitely excited about this one. Knowing it's a wolfman. It's, it's a wolf boy, it, not a wolf, wolf man. <laughs> Derek Kleena, wolf boy. I'm Derek Kleena. Derek Kleena. The, the cleaner's in the house. Do you want that clean or do you want it Derek Kleena? <laughs> so I'm four snowmen. I'm holding. You're four snowmen. Four you snowmen. are. Yes, I am. In your heart of hearts. Yep. Hey, I got to talk to Julie Sherman Wolf about this movie. She's written a ton of Hallmark movies. Some of the best they've ever had. Some other ones. She she is very proud of this movie. She's very excited for people to see it. Her excitement was contagious. Mm. So I'm excited. Nice. Three snowmen and wow. a cream. Whoa. Three snowmen and a cream for the Rockettes and a wolf boy and Derek Kleena. What more could you ask? Love that's you, a that's a trifecta. Oh, let's take a quick break. We'll come right back with some more movies here on Deck the Hallmark.
What up, baby? Welcome back uh, to... <laughs> <laughs> what you, what <laughs> podcast are you on? Yeah, what are you, you know what, what we're up, doing baby? here? <laughs> it's like the Hallmark after dark. Oh, it well, is? All right. Uh, it's time for a, a big fat family Christmas. Mm. I'm honestly surprised that that one made the it past. That, that made it past. They changed I know it they're from doing a big fat Chinese Christmas to big fat family Christmas, oh. I believe. Well, okay. That makes sense. Uh, but honestly, having... Chinese in there makes it work better because it's my big fat Greek wedding. Having right. something in there yeah. instead of just it's just a fat family <laughs> a fat Christmas. Family Christmas. <laughs> right like, now uh, it's just know. a fat family Christmas, <laughs> which to be clear, I'm on board with. Yeah, here for it. I will show up to a fat family Christmas all day long. <laughs> all day. Is that their um, last name? Maybe. <laughs> I am Dar- I'm, I'm Denise Fat. It's nice to meet you. We're the Fat Family. <laughs> Derek Fat. My friend uh, Derek Cleaner. Derek Fat Cleaner. Derek Cleaner. Derek. A big Fat Family Christmas, Friday, December 7th on the Hallmark Channel, um, 8 p.m. Thank you. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Chan Kent, Shannon. Oh, double Shannon's here. Shannon Kook, Kitia Kook. <laughs> Jack, Tia Carrere uh, and Jack Wagner, of course. Jack, of, course <laughs> no, of course, he's not the Jack Wagner. Bill Avery. Jack Wagner saw a casting call for a big fat uh, fa- uh, Chinese family Christmas. He was and like, said, "Please mm, sign me up. Maybe Whatever we jokes. need to do." Uh, sign me Jack up, Jack Wagner. Uh, Liv is a photojournalist. Eaters easy, eager. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> Liz is a photojournalist. Is he easy eager? <laughs> Liz is a photojournalist eager to make it on her own to get a dream assignment shooting the Chang family's annual holiday party for a cover story. That's her dream assignment. Uh, she doesn't reveal that they are, in fact, her family. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh when boy. she finds herself growing close to Henry, the co-worker covering the story with her, she wants to confide in him but doesn't want to jeopardize her big break. I got to be honest with you. Sheriff ya. Bill Avery shows <laughs> yeah. up when? In uniform. In, in, in red coat. Uh, <laughs> in the I, surge. I think that this sounds great. I think it's a really fun one. I'm Can very... Else? Why? I'll, I'm going to go first this time. Uh, Jennifer Lau directing this movie. She directed Sugar and Spice Holiday for Lifetime. Oh, fantastic. Which is one of the best oh, Christmas if we, movies I've man. ever seen. If we get some of those, fu- like the, that movie was so fun with the little things that yes. were coming up and popping up. The animations. And I'm they, that right was a vo- they had some narration, narration in that one. I love narration. If Dude. we get uh, the Jennifer Lau from Sugar and Spice Holiday with this premise, oh, man. I, I'm here for it. And not only that, I know I creamed last movie, Back to back creams, Whoa. y'all. Whoa. I'm going three and a half snowmen and Four. a cream for a big fat family Christmas. Wow. Look at me. Five, uh, five, uh, uh, five for me. Snowman? Five and a cream. Five, five snowmen and a cream. And a cream. Are you uh, wow? Are you oh. three? You've, you've used three already. Yes, man. That's three creams. Wow. I was. I'm not in on the lie. I don't like the lie, like holding back and not telling everybody you're part of the family. I just got to get over you the photo you shoot. Know, the only thing that gives me pause in this is the photo shoot. Like, that's dumb. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, they're clearly like a very rich family. Okay. Right? Like, that's what I got from this. Okay. Like, this is a very yeah, established family. Mm-hmm. They have a mm-hmm. photo shoot for a spread every year. You know, that type of thing. Okay. Got it. Right? Sure. So maybe maybe so. like a... Um, a like a cra- maybe we do maybe this. like a crazy rich Asians uh, yeah, vibe yeah, yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Boy, all right. You got me more excited. I'm four snowmen on this one. Four snowmen. I'm gonna okay. go four snowmen. That's gonna be our highest average. I feel like no. Because I. I <laughs> <laughs> all right, math whiz. <laughs> uh, no, I got my spreadsheet. No, 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 the answer's no. Yeah. It's no. Move <laughs> I can along. tell you right now. I'm a technical right, writer. I can tell you right now. Very clear. I have these numbers in a spreadsheet. A fabled holiday. A fabled, uh, holiday. a fabled holiday, Saturday, December third, on the Hallmark Channel, starring Brooke Dorsey and okay. Ryan Pave. Uh, Talia and her childhood best friend Anderson unexpectedly reunite in a curiously familiar-looking town. What? <laughs> what? what does that right. mean? A curiously familiar-looking l- town. town. Huh? It looks familiar in a very curious. curious way. I wonder if this looks familiar. Full of Christmas spirit that restores its visitors when they need it most. Mm. Okay, so this sounds like a magic town. It does sound like a magic town. Which I can get on board before. with. I'm intrigued by it. 
I hope they let Brooke Brooke it up. Mm-hmm. Brooke Brooke it up. Uh, up. Which yeah. I think would bring a lot to this movie. <laughs> and I am here for a curiously familiar looking town. I don't know, again, what it means I'm exactly. not. I did hear some news about Ryan Pavey, though. What's that? You did. He hated Mariah's Lighthouse. <laughs> what? I, where'd you hear that? Is that Tur- I don't know about that. Rumor. Yeah, it's Mariah's, I think. But yeah. I'm just excited. He was upset. He thought it was Mariah's. I'm just excited, to see, I'm just excited to see him it at wasn't? Christmas Con. It wasn't, believe it or not. I'm just excited to see him at Christmas Con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we all are. Uh, yeah, it's a half of a snowman for me. Hey. A half of a snowman, purely for the presence of Brooke Dorsey, whom I love. Mm-hmm. Four That's, snowmen for me. What? What? Brand. Curiously familiar looking drunk? town. Uh, you know why? What, you know why? Can I can I tell you why? Please. I'll tell you a few things that bring. Okay. Obviously, uh, Brooke gives brings us to, uh, up uh, to a certain level. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that this is going to be an evergreen esque type town. This is a Christmas a, a town full of Christmas steer, spirit that restores its visitors. I don't know. I it's think a spa. I think it's, it's a Christmas gonna, spa. Town. I think it's going to be evergreen esque in nature. I, I maybe I'm wrong in that. That's how I'm reading this. A curiously familiar looking town full of Christmas spirit. Mm-hmm. I wish I could get there with you. I'm, unfortunately, I'm just around a two snowman. Okay. for this one. Unfortunately, yeah. No, that checks. But Brooke, excited for Brooke. Where's yeah. that on our uh, kind of our averages? On the low it's side. A, little, a little low. Yeah. It's not it's in the bottom third, I would say. The holiday stalking. Uh S T A L K I N G. No. <laughs> Is this on lifetime? <laughs> yeah. Uh stocking. Just a sock. Uh, just a, just normal a, stocking. It's just a standard sock. Uh, um, this movie sounds boring, so please win me back up. Saturday, December third, uh, over on the movies and mysteries. Mm-hmm. Uh hold your milk. Um Nadine Ellis, BJ Britt. Karen Riley, Tamala Jones, McKelty, <laughs> Williamson. Can't be McKelty. There's no world. You don't think so? M Y K E L T I. Okay. McKelty. You see how I got there? McKelty. Yeah. No, Thank you're right. Cool name. If that's how it's pronounced. Yeah. McKelty. In Sounds this. Irish. In this. McKelty. Probably not. Uh, in this Hallmark mahogany presentation. RJ is a new angel who is given the chance to address his one regret that he didn't help his sisters reconcile while he was still alive. Returning to earth as a stranger, he gets each of them to revive the holiday stocking, their parents' old tradition to encourage charity at Christmas. Dan, you heard all of that. You were locked in. I can, <laughs> locked see, I can see it in your face. You know what's sad is, is I tried. <laughs> I tried to lock in and just glazed over like a baked ham. Do you need just to reread like, it? Did you get the general just premise? Just like I, it, it won't help, Bran. He's, He's a, a new angel. Man. He's going back. He's upset that he didn't get to reconcile with his family. He's going back as an angel New look, obviously. New look angel. Yeah, I New saw look. them live. They're pretty <laughs> solid. Uh, and he's going to go uh, kind of uh, hang out with his fam. Mm. Can I tell you this? In better hands than Hallmark, I feel like this could maybe work. But I don't think Hallmark can pull off a premise like this. One snowman. Hmm. One snowman. Uh, Brian? Uh, going back as a stranger, kind of a cool idea. This could be... Uh, you love strangers. I do. Strangers are my favorite. Yeah. Chasing down all day. I'll go uh, right down the middle three. Three That's snowmen. where I was gonna go. You were. I was gonna write down. The, I was gonna go right you down the middle us. three. Right down the Just middle give three. Just rating, guys. Ah, three snowmen, mainly for BJ Britt. I mean BJ Britt in the Brit. house. Yeah. BJ, BJ Britt house. in the house. Uh, undercover holiday Sunday, December fourth. Hallmark Channel. Uh, uh, Wait for it. Mm, you got it. Nomi. Let me see it. It's not Naomi. Yeah, it's not Naomi. So it's Nomi. No, Nomi? Nomi, Nomi Gonzalez, Nimi? and Stephen Hazar. Uh, Stephen Hazar is Hello. good. Uh, when returning home for the holidays, newly minted pop star Jalen <sighs> tells her protective family that Matt is her new beau. She has to direct the When in reality, he's her overzealous security guard. Oh, it's a fake relationship. It's a fake relationship. Pop star, pop star, star security wow. guard overzealous. I do like the fake relationship 
I don't that. like anything else about what I heard there. <laughs> Half a snowman. Yeah, Half a snowman. Um, this is uh, just kind of the, okay. This is there. This is there. Could surprise us all. This could be a sneak. This is there. This could be a sneak attack. But this I'm going to go there. with two snowmen. You know, okay. took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, I wish I were more excited for it. But two is where I'm at. Two, yeah. But it just sounds give one like rating, guys. If the, if, save us all some time. If these two have like a dynamite chemistry, we could yeah. go somewhere with this. But isn't that true about all of these no. movies? No, no, it's not. It isn't. Okay, <laughs> the cookie one. It's not true about. You could have the world's best chemistry. <laughs> a lost cookie recipe baking all movie is a bad movie. I don't care who's in it. Let's take a break. We'll be right back here in Dick Tomer. Get your candles out, y'all. <laughs> Why? I don't no. know, actually. You don't know? No. We, what's the cream count? Uh, I have, uh, I've used three creams. Yep, we, we've used two. All right, two so we have uh, three each, and we got a bunch of movies left, right? Two more weekends. Oh, that's just eight movies. Yeah, I think so. Three creams for eight movies. Get your creams right. Gotta get creaming. Get your, yeah. Uh, the most <laughs> Always one, be creaming. ABC. <laughs> Always be creaming. <laughs> the most colorful time of the year. Uh, Friday, de- December 9th on the Hallmark Channel. This is with Katrina Bowden and Christopher. It's got to be Bowden, right? Yes. Uh, Christopher <laughs> Russell. Um, Ryan is an elementary school teacher. <laughs> Who Maybe learns even. that he Maybe is even. elementary? Who learns that he is magical? <laughs> who learns that he He's is a ghost? Colorblind? No, you learned it. No. That's what you learn as a teacher. <laughs> That's how you do it. You didn't know until you were a teacher in the classroom. I love your color, <laughs> the colorful walls. You know, before I got what in this classroom, mean? I felt like I had a pretty good grasp on what colors <laughs> I was seeing. But now, whoo, it's a mess out there, gang. <laughs> Michelle, an op, what is it? Optometrist. Optometrist. Yes, <laughs> and mother of one of his students oh, helps boy. bring no, color no, into no, his life no, no, just no, in no, time no. for the holiday. That's so nice of her. This sounds like a catastrophe. I'll say this. Remember the last year's optometrist movie? Uh, eight eight uh, days of eight uh, days. Of steamiest right scene. Ste- steamiest scene in the it of the one season. Of my favorites. Um, that does not give me any more high hopes for this movie. It's a big fat zero. Uh, zero snowmen for me. Wow. Dan. Wow. Sounds bad. Guys, it sounds bad. Now I got seven movies left and three creams. The math is starting to get weird. I'll tell you, my, my dad, had, I, at first I didn't get this, okay? But he, my dad has a color uh, thing where he has blues, a color thing. He kind of like mixes blues and purples. My and dad's shade, colorblind, right? So maybe I could see you could go for colorblind a while. is a thing. It is a thing, and I could see how you could go for a time where you don't know that you're mixing up shades of or different colors. So uh, I'm going three snowmen on this one because I'm hoping they. <laughs> I'm hoping Let they me deliver three. You're going, <laughs> going three snowmen because, because your dad is colorblind. Because I know I the, the reality. This You're is like, oh, this this hits home this for does. me. I feel seen. My dad, We're gonna, my dad is colorblind. I hope we get to watch it together. It could be a bon- <laughs> this could be a bonding you experience. Go have a catch in the yard afterwards. Like what are you talking <laughs> I'm about? I'm gonna hold up different colors. Dad, hey, they're dad. finally seeing you as a human being. They made a movie about a guy who's colorblind. Hey, dad, is is that what it was like? <laughs> done. I just now I'm gonna be able like to relate to him a little more. Oh my than ever. gosh, that it's, is man. I, I have a strong feeling Brand's not gonna be the same as Brian on this one. <laughs> Unless <laughs> Brand was your dad colorblind. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know it. Yeah. Oh still. I could be colorblind. <laughs> oh, we could all be, couldn't we? Uh it's one snowman for me. This sounds like, very boring. It sounds terrible. Wow. But you know, I would love to be wrong. Christmas class reunion, Saturday, December 10th, Hallmark Channel, starring my girl, Amy Teagarden. Okay. And Tanner Novlin. <laughs> Come on, Come on down. High school classmates who once dubbed themselves <laughs> the cloak. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the quote unquote cursed class. How did you get the cloak out of that? The, the quote, quote, the quote, cursed, cursed class. Yeah, the quote unquote cursed class mm-hmm. reconnects at Christmas for their 15 year reunion. Over the course of their time reconnecting, 
The classmates challenge each other to remember who they were, who they are, and who they, they want will to be. be. Yeah. yeah. Christmas class reunion. Uh, I'll go first. You guys know I love <laughs> ABT Garden, and you know that I love movies with a group of friends. Yeah, I'm intrigued by this. I don't know why a class reunion is going on at Christmas. Seems like a bad time Seems for like it. That never but what do yet. I know? Yep. I'm going to go for yep. snowmen. Hold my cream. Can you imagine having to make time for a class reunion during the holiday season? <laughs> I can't imagine making time for a class reunion. Yeah, period. period. That's right. I don't go to mine. You're no. right. But like at Christmas time, forget it. That's just homework at that point. I. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go zero just out in principle of this sounded like the worst idea I've ever heard. Ever? Oh, <laughs> man. Worse than the, worse than the worse than colorblind, colorblind guy? I don't know if you know, but my, my dad didn't plan his, his reunion. So my dad didn't go to a reunion. Christmas time. No, so I was I was going for. My dad went to high school. So <laughs> <laughs> I was snowman. going for snowmen on this until I saw that the write-up log line has a uh, an extra quotation mark by mistake. So minus one snowman for the grammatical. What if mistake. it's a sneaky horror? Movie, no, it's Brent. it's in the, all it's all of them have a quotation mark. Oh, they start at the beginning, inside, inside, closed. Okay, why is it all? You're oh, a technical writer. Every correct? single one. They all yeah. the all of the all log right, lines. That was are my closed. mistake. That's in, that's ter- so back to four. Back to and four. I'm <laughs> creaming this movie because Whoa! I think this sounds like a good idea. The group, the classmates getting back yeah. together, reliving hijinks. Can I? If it's the, they're the cursed class, one if of them's a ghost. A, there's a spooky part of this movie. Oh boy, where some things start happening. A cursed again, class. Then I'm all in, but yeah. I don't think that's going to happen because it's coming out in December. Yeah. So that yeah. Um. La. Uh. Nope. Saturday, December 10th. Okay. Hold your milk. Movies Hold and it. mysteries. 10 p.m. Uh. Oh, the man. gift of peace, starring Nikki Deloach and Brennan Elliott. Oh, come on. Come on. Artist Tracy. Yeah. I am finally. <laughs> no one says producing is an art. Hey, I will say this, Trace. What? You can call yourself an artist if you'd like, mm-hmm. but giving me unsolicited pictures that you've painted yep. <laughs> isn't, mm-hmm. that's not okay, mm-hmm. even if you are an artist. And I want to be clear. And Brian, who won't speak up, he's about had it too. No, he has not. <laughs> Tracy. No, he has did, not. And did, I have the text to prove it. Dan's not wrong. And those, that was not me. My phone was stolen. I right. told you that. <laughs> His dad's colorblind. Try to give him a break. Give him a break. break. I'm dealing with the real colorblind situation. All right, so I'll take that paint that good good as a from someone else. (laughs) All I'm saying is I didn't have my phone on me at the moment when that happened. So someone else sent sent her paint that good good. So don't stop because of that, but you know. Uh, Artist Tracy is a once devout Christian who has stopped believing in God after her husband tragically died despite her prayers. Boy. As her second Christmas without him approaches, she tries going to a support group for inspiration and comfort. And that's all we got. Mm. This is real simple. A snowman for Nikki DeLoach. And a, a snowman oh. for Brennan Elliott. Mm-hmm. A snowman for them together. Mm-hmm. And a cream for there being no Godwink this year. Wow. Three snowmen wow. and a cream. Wow. You heard it here first. Wow. Right down the middle on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, this one's tough. You know, it's going to be heavy. It's yeah. going to be heavy. Be I'm heavy. not talking about the snow. Uh, so I think I one snowman per. And then, yeah, th- I'm right down the middle with you. Three on this one for me. No cream. You still have three creams left? No, I got two creams. Okay, left. we both you have, have two three. left. You yeah, yeah. Three. You know well, what? You, you know what? I, I um, I think this is going to be like a, not a fun movie, mm. but I think that both of these two are going to give the best performances we've ever seen from them. Wow! I, I and not to get overly serious, set here. set some expectations but up n- here. But knowing what, what our pal Nikki has gone through, over and the past what our year, pal, know what our pal Brennan is going through. I can see this movie being very personal for both of them. And because of that, I think they're going to use that because they are such talented actors. They're going to use that um, and put it into their craft. Five snowmen for me. Cream? And a cream. Five and a cream. Brand's got one cream left. And I got, got two. I got two. You got. I got two. Okay. Two left. The Holiday Sitter! <laughs> no! Uh, Sunday, December 11th on the Hallmark Channel with Jonathan Bennett, 
George, Chrissa, and Chelsea Hops. Sam is a workaholic bachelor who babysits his niece and nephew before the holidays when his sister and her husband have to go out of town. Completely out of his element, he recruits help from their handsome neighbor, Jason, and finds himself in an unexpected romance. I mean, it, it is historic for a Hallmark. historic Hallmark movie. Um, it doesn't sound super interesting. I'm going to give it one snowman and a cream for history. There you go. Cream um, for history. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I saw cream for history left. So good. So you know what I think, what I'm hopeful here, what, what we saw out of uh, JB in a wedding of a lifetime where he g- kind of got to be silly and yeah, goofy. Yeah. I think like, Hey, I got this baby like type of thing. Like I'm, I'm I think <laughs> he, that one more time. I've got this baby. <laughs> uh, I think that it could, I think Juggling it could be really baby? fun. <laughs> I, I think it could be really fun. And, uh, I'm excited to see what type of Jonathan Bennett we get, like what character type we got here. Cause I think it could be really fun. Um, Let's go with four. There you go. Four snowmen. So this is my brother's birthday. So one snowman off the bat for yeah. for that. Uh, I like to work a lot. So another snowman for workaholic. I uh, love that. And then uh, let me see, do one more just uh, just because it's for history and creaming it as well. Is a Three and a cream. cream. Three, Three and a cream. cream for you as well. Fantastic. Right. Let's take one more quick break, and we'll be right back with our final weekend wow. here on Deck the Hallmark. We're cream back, tie. everybody. All three of us have one cream left. Wow. With one weekend left, as God intended it. As yeah. God intended Perfect. it, indeed, my friend. Uh, Holiday Heritage. Holiday Holy, Heritage. Follow, uh, sorry, uh, this is Friday, December 16th. You got it. Uh, on the Hallmark Channel. Uh, Lindy Greenwood is starring in this with Brooks Darnell and HRP. Mm-hmm. Okay. Some heavy hitters. Yeah. Uh, Lindy Greenwood. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, I do. I, uh, she's and fairly famous. And I probably famous. stand. Nope, different altogether. Next to you, uh, and defend her still today, because I ain't, ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Uh, Ella returns to her hometown to mend fences with her fractured family. Fence repairer. With the help of Griffin, <laughs> her ex-boyfriend, uh, she encourages her family to celebrate Christmas and Kwanzaa and to help their past wounds before it's too late. What didn't make that synopsis, but it's also true, is, and this is this does a game changer for this movie, Griffin... Is colorblind. <laughs> Another. I know, right? It's great that these yeah, people yeah. are seen. They're finally no seen. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kwanzaa movie. Haven't seen that before. Haven't seen great that. Cast. Yeah. Great cast. Two snowmen. Wow, okay. Save the cream. Oh. Great. Um, this sounds fine. I, I am intrigued. I, I, I'm like lightly intrigued. Like, I don't understand. Lightly intrigued. Like, uh, she she's trying to mend fences with her family, and her mm-hmm. d- way to do that is by encouraging them to celebrate Christmas and Kwanzaa. It's a that's an interesting way. Maybe to, part of their family. Maybe yeah. I don't like. I don't know. I'm intrigued by why this synopsis is what it is. Like, there's some question marks, which uh, I don't. I don't dislike when I got some question marks. So I'm going in with this one with three snowmen right down the middle. Oh. Jinx, three, right down the middle for me. Uh, HRP delivers yeah. always. Brooks so, Darnell is great, too. Yeah, so that's going to be, that'll be, you know, quality stuff on the screen there. But I'm like, I'm not super pumped, but I'm looking forward yeah. to seeing what they do with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Twas the night before Christmas, December 27th. Nope, December 17th. Uh, Hallmark Channel, starring our girl Tori DeVito. Okay. And Zane Holtz. Hey, Zane everybody, Holt. I'm Zane Holtz. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> he's a uh, YouTuber, TikToker, yeah. uh, Zane Holtz. That's what he sounds like. I'm sure it's he's... It's a good bit. 
Hey guys! <laughs> yes, Angel. Is that Cody Frizz? <laughs> Let's go to Zippy's house and give him a swirly. <laughs> Zane, you're crazy, man. So crazy, Zane. Yeah. Um, a former actress trying to break into directing tests her skills with the town's annual Christmas Eve courtroom production. No. Oh, yeah. In which the true authorship of the famous poem, A Visit from St. Nick, is debated. Mm. What? (laughs) So every Christmas Eve this town... Does a production of a courtroom debate of the poem "Twas the Night Before Christmas"? This sounds miserable. A, a visit from Saint Nick is debated. The famous poem, "A Visit yeah, from yeah. Saint," which Nick. is what "Twas That's the, the Night Before." Yeah, yeah. Yes. But just so I, I think we're on the same page here. Yeah, Brian. yeah. Okay. Yeah, zero for me. What? Uh, Why? You love courtroom it's dramas. A, I love courtroom dramas. Yes. Towns who say, let's rally the troops, let's gather up everyone and watch a courtroom drama reenactment debating the nightmare before Christmas sounds like my nightmare. Sounds like my nightmare. Your nightmare is my treasure. Yeah. Five? Yeah. You going to do it? And a cream. Wow. Five and a cream. For, I, I don't know. Courtroom? I love a worthless debates. I'm here for it. <laughs> I think that if if it's as great, wild, and zany as Zane sounds like it, yeah. he's going to make it, and a courtroom debate, this could be uh, it could be pretty fun. Uh, are we going to go to Cream City? <laughs> Population bride? It's going to go to Creamington, Ville, Ton, <laughs> City. Yeah, I'm creaming this, Woo! and I'm for snowman on this because okay. this is going to so be So I've got a, a cream left. You guys are out. Yes. yes. Holster's empty. Cream. Got it. Uh, two ready. more movies left, Dano. Two more movies left, so pick your poison here. Uh, five more minutes, moments like these. Go. Five more well, minutes. Five more minutes. Uh, Saturday, December. <laughs> They made hey, everybody, my name is Scott McGear. Uh, Hope you have fun. Happy holidays. Put up things about a pickup truck. Five more minutes. Uh, this is with Ashley Williams and Lucas Bryant. Ashley Williams okay. and Lucas Bryant. Uh, the second holiday story inspired by Scotty McCreary's uh, song, Five, Five More, more minutes. minutes. A young widow's Christmas wish for her son is answered in unexpected ways when she returns to their old home for the holidays. <laughs> That's all we got. Mm-hmm. Woof. That's yeah. the worst synopsis Buzz your of the year, right? Woof. Can we agree it's on that God, one? It's terrible. That's that the just, worst synopsis isn't of the that year. Holiday Hearts with Paul Campbell. Yeah. And, 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 and a young and, widow's Christmas wish for her son is answering an unexpected way when she returns home to her old home for the holidays. Well, the star of the synopsis is Scotty McCreary's song, Titus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really? Um, I'm going to go with uh, one snowman for Ashley Williams, and the rest of this sounds like it can just go straight up the river. For once, I'm going to agree with my good friend Dan here. Oh, man. One snowman. I'm going two for Ashley Williams. Okay. God bless you. Ashley I'll, fine, I'll go up to two. Thank you. What in the world no, you is gotta this? you got to be there for Ashley. She's Ashley's great. We love Ashley. We She's do. wonderful. And one for Lucas. Give me three. Whoa. Uh, I'm back down to two, though. Okay. Don't erase that. <laughs> yeah, two. Uh, all right, last one, guys. Are you ready? Go. Hanukkah on Rye. Yeah. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Sunday. Uh, Sunday. Jewish delis, if I'm not mistaken. Can so you let low. me do this? Oh, God, man. Man. Such a complex. Episode. Glad it's the last Such one. Such a complex. He misses one episode of Deck the Home. <laughs> all of a sudden, he's just like, let me do it. You're going to take my job if Whoa. I'm not careful. I got to read the thing. <laughs> Man, I sound insufferable. You do uh, December you 18th, yourself. December 18th, Tracy's Hallmark voice Channel. is pristine. <laughs> uh, December 18th, Hallmark Channel. This is with Jeremy Jordan, who I love. Yep. Um, uh, Yale. Yay, though I walked through the valley. Yale, <laughs> Yale, Yale, Yale Grab Glass. Yep. <laughs> yes. That's great. And yeah. Lisa, Lisa Loeb. Yeah. Y- Yael uh, Grobe Gloss. We looked this up. Yael Grobglass. Gro- Grobglass. Thank That's you. Right. That's a nice name, too. Yale Grobglass. <laughs> Yale Grobglass. <laughs> who Old is Grobglass a... Grobglass family. Yale just, Grobglass is a... Is a you don't, uh, he, he's he's, he's hot, uh, hot and he's cold. She. No, I'm talking about Yale. Yale. Yeah, yeah, Yale. That's right. Yale Grobglass. Um, a matchmaker connects Molly and Jacob, but their new romance is put to test when they realize that they are competing deli owners. Yeah. Will a Hanukkah miracle keep them together? This could go either way. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go two snowmen for the just 
premise being different and a cream for the fact that Jonathan Shapiro is probably going to be on this episode <laughs> oh. if we can help it. So uh, yes. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, that's what I'm, what I'm going with. Competing delis, obviously. We're, so we'll probably get some stock room, you know, doing some inventory. We're having a good time. I'm three snowmen on this one. <laughs> probably get some probably inventory. Probably going to get some stock room yeah. if we're we lucky. Get, I, hopefully we get some logistics. There's 84 minutes. We can't go 84 minutes without stock Com- room. No. Commissary showing up delivering. Yes. Stuff. Yeah, this is going to be good. Um, give me love. Give me liberty. liberty give me disco. disco. Yes. Give me four snowmen yeah. for this oh, one. Wow. Uh, I'm very excited about this one. I think it sounds great. Yeah. And I'm happy Jeremy Jordan's mm-hmm. back. Yes, of course. We did it. We did it, everybody. Yeah. Now can we watch some movies? Or are we going to kick it off and preview it again? And blah, 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 blah. We will kick it off, but we will also be live all day on Saturday, mm. starting at 6 a.m. Eastern, deckthehallmark.com slash marathon. Come join us. We'll be giving away a ton of fun stuff, joined by a bunch of cool people, and having an all-around good time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll important. be back tomorrow to review uh the new movie of the week which we all know the title of mm-hmm. autumn in the city where the heat, heat is, is on, on all night on the, the heat when the leaves are down. gone give me apple cider <laughs> <laughs> Take you of apple cider. Uh, <laughs> until the baby was first wish you a eh? merry christmas <laughs> Deck the Hallmark is the That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Noah's name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support.